Joining us now from Stockholm is Anders Carlsson, acting president and CEO of Swedbank. Uh, Anders, great to have you with us this morning. Sweden's biggest mortgage lender and the main bank in the Baltic region. Look, this is a dramatic headline. You're cutting the payout ratio from 75% to 50%. Is that in any way tied to your concern about money laundering investigations and what you might, might end up having to perhaps uh, face in charges? Thank you, Manus, for the question. Um, the change in dividend policy is on the backdrop that Swedbank is and will continue to be a low-risk bank. It's also the fact that we have seen during the past 18 months that long-term interest rates uh, and FX uh, together with uh, increased capital requirements coming for Swedish banks in September pushing down the buffers to levels which we do not find acceptable. Um, so that is the importance. It, it, it is for us important to be viewed as a safe bank by our customers, the authorities, the bondholders and the shareholders. But you have to recognize the fact that we are in a very special situation at the same time and you need to take that into consideration to be um, responsible and build a safety buffer. Uh. Yes. On that safety buffer, Mr. Carlson, great to have you on the show. Will you set aside extra capital to deal with a potential fallout of the money laundering scandal? No, if there is a fine, when there is a fine, we will pay that fine and exactly how that will pan out is too early to say. I think it is important um, to build a safety buffer in the environment that we are in. In, in terms of, if I look at Danska, many of those former executives are now facing preliminary criminal charges to be brought against them. Are you worried about similar development at, at Swedbank? Ah, it's nothing that I can uh, comment on specifically. As you know, the Economic Crime Authority in Sweden have an investigation ongoing and uh, that will continue and I'm not sure when it will end. You can't rule it out, but it's not something that I'm worrying about. Mr. Carlson, would investors, the public, uh, the authorities feel more reassured if Swedbank appointed a CEO from outside of its own ranks? I do not have a personal view on that. That is a question for the board to uh, evaluate. Um and there's one thing which is pervasive for every bank CEO is negative interest rates. Every guest that Nera and I speak to have really tried to ram home the point, get ready for a much more enduring, lower for longer period in terms of negative rates. How enduringly low will that be? And what are the consequences for, for Swedbank and for customers? I think it will continue, as you know as well as I do, the economic uncertainty in the world is, uh, is, is quite significant. You have the trade wars, you have Brexit, you have a couple of big things that creates uncertainty. You see that the ECB and the Fed is more dovish and so, and the Swedish Central Bank is, is hesitating. So I expect this to continue for quite some time. Um, as far as the uh, impact on banks, we have uh, actually successfully managed, uh, as you have seen, to, to handle the situation with negative rates, although it is a bit of a peculiar situation for everyone. Yes. Uh, Mr. Carlson, we've discussed the impact on the dividend uh, policy uh, of the anti-money laundering scandal. To what extent have you lost business and clients, lost business and clients in the wake of the scandal? We have had issues. We, it has been very limited, I have to say. Um, but you need to be humble on those things. Uh, of course, there, there are customers uh, that are leaving us. 
exactly why in some in some cases I think it is related to this in some cases it is related to to the competition uh, in the market um, but having said that um, that was one of my top priorities when I took over to secure that the organization that are facing the customers are in intensifying yes. the work and so far actually it it's, has progressed